carbon microphones. This microphone is kind of, it kind of amazes me how it works. It's a little button with all of these little carbon granules in it. You know, you can shake it and make it a maraca. Little carbon granules. And then there's current hooked up to, to these granules. And when these granules move, their resistance changes. And it puts out a current equal to the movement. And that's how the microphone works. Isn't that interesting? So the diaphragm is hooked up to these carbon part of these granules and vibrates and moves these granules around and then the, their surfaces change and the resistance change, current going through it. And that resistance change is equal to the acoustic change and therefore it registers it and puts it out the other end as a uh, current and then we amplify it and we hear it. Now the frequency response is terrible. It rolls off way of just under a thousand cycles and uh, also rolls off just above 5,000 cycles, but that's the voice range that between 800 and 5,000 up in there are all the voice and the early overtones of the voice. So where do you think we use this carbon microphone? Where? We use it every day. Telephone. That's why you can't put music through it because it rolls off under 1,000 cycles and above 5,000 cycles. All it is is it's really good in the voice range. So it's a perfect microphone to use for that job, which brings us to the point where, oh, you mean that some microphones are better for some jobs than others? Uh, yeah, that's why we're doing this, you know? <laughs> yeah, and therefore the carbon microphone, which only hears the voice range good, is good for that job. And when you want to get that carbon microphone sound or telephone sound, you roll off under a thousand and over over 4,000 or so, and all of a sudden in that area, depending on the voice, you're going to get that telephone sound. Depending on what the sound of the voice is, is to what telephone sound you want to get. 